everybody. I'm still kind of setting up here. <laughs> 203, three minutes late today. I was here. I was here singing. I was trying to test some things. I get lost. I get lost in some of my um, things and time just boops like that. Happy Wednesday afternoon. Let me take a breath. I ran upstairs and had a quick bite to eat and then ran down here to be on time. Hi, Donna. I'm still playing with my technology, but at least I have my face in the screen this time. Um, happy Wednesday. I've got two cards we're going to make today. I'm really excited. I did some, um, my paper pumpkin, my April or May paper pumpkin. Hi, Joy. Hi, Susan. You got your stamp set already, Susan? Wow, I just mailed that yesterday. And they told me Friday. So that's awesome. Yeah, congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and coming. Um, I was on a thought and then it went. <laughs> Which is very normal for me. I have no notes today, y'all. <laughs> So uh, if you can imagine, I usually have notes on my on the days, and I, I just prayed, Lord, let it go a little smoothly. Just <laughs> anyway, oh, I know what I was talking about. Uh, paper pumpkins. I was working on either April or May pump, paper pumpkin cards yesterday. I used them in my, um, you might be getting a thank you note in the mail. Maybe today, because I mailed them yesterday. Um from the paper pumpkin. Um, well, it might not be a thank you card, but I sent you a card to use. And um, if you place an order with me during the month of May, all my thank yous went out yesterday. Um, and the cards had kind of a fun fold. So I thought, well, I'll just share these folds. We'll make a card um, using the fold, the two folds. So we're gonna make two cards today. So I wanna get started. Um, go here. This is the card we made Monday and I've already mailed out a copy to our winner for that card. Everyone who comments on the um, loopy is the winner. I use this uh, spinning wheel online. It's kind of a random. I put everybody's name in and then it chooses one. And so loopy was the winner of Monday's card. Um, if you leave a comment, you go in for the drawing and um, if you don't leave a comment, I don't know who you are or if you're here. <laughs> I mean, I can see that there's eyeballs on me, um, but I can't tell who's your name. So leave a comment and um, I'll be sending out two cards. Um, I'll pick two winners for today. The June Hostess Code, which just means if you place an order with me in June and use this Hostess Code, um, I'm going to draw a name for the My Meadow stamp set. This is a really fun stamp set. Um, it's got lots of um, images, fun to make little scenes, and I know you'll enjoy it. Hi, Chris. So remember that if you place an order, use the hostess code. Unless your order is over $150, then you earn your own hostess codes, uh, hostess rewards. That's about it that I have today for news. I'm still working on um, getting, I'll put this up so if you don't, I need to just have a little thing in the corner. Um, June card class to go. I do plan on getting that out. Um, that's it for that. Um, the cards we're going to make today, the first card is a little bit more detailed, so we'll do it first. This is with another one of my favorite sets from the um, new catalog. 
The stamp set is the Celebrate Sunflowers, and then it comes with, or it coordinates with, you don't have to get the dies, but there is there are some dies that coordinate with it, so you can cut out your stamped images, and then there's these little extras. And I can tell you what page that is on. on. In your... Um, catalog. If you don't have a catalog, please contact me. I would love to get you one, um, unless you already have a demonstrator. Flowers for every season suite. All the suites are listed in the front. So I bet it's that, page 10 through 13. Yes. So all of the things I'm using today for this card are on page 13. And the bundle is $51.25 to get the stamp set and the coordinating um, dies. You save 10% on that. Okay. Here are some cards using the set. If you went to my virtual open house, I showed you these. This is the little small sunflower image that has a die. Here's one that, just a simple little card, I just stamped it, real easy to put together. And this was the make and take from the, hi Mary Good, thanks for joining us, um, that we made at the open house. So if you signed up for that, you've probably got one of those. Alrighty, this card, like I said, I got the idea for this fold from the April Paper Pumpkin. It's kind of like a matchbook, don't you think? <laughs> I meant to write um, something inside, but I left it blank. So, And it's pretty simple to do. You're going to take a four and a fourth, so half of a sheet of Whisper White. This is thick Whisper White. I like to use the thick for my card bases. Um, so you're going to cut it in half, so one sheet would make two cards. And then I have scored it at four. Let me pull out my trimmer just so I can show you how I did that because that's what makes your little matchbook. So you've got 11 inches here and you're going to score it at 4 inches. Use your scoring blade. <laughs> that's important. I made that mistake today. And then you're going to score it at, I think it's eight oh it's nine and a half so then you're going to score it at nine and a half so four and nine and a half on the 11 inch side set this over here because i'm gonna i'll use it on our next card okay susan enjoy your granddaughter um you can watch the replay later grand grandchildren come first <laughs> I get to see my little four-year-old granddaughter's their spring ballet recital or dance recital is this evening and because of the social distancing we get to um, sit in a parking lot <laughs> so I hope it doesn't rain we bring our little lawn chairs and we get to watch watch her little dance recital my husband thinks it's too chilly. The first thing he said when he got up this morning was, well, uh, Jordan's going to freeze her little tutu off. <laughs> but I think it's warming up. Okay, so here's our card base. And then I've just made a bunch of layers. And I'm using some of the new colors. I'm pulling the colors out of the um, designer series paper that I'm using, which is the six by six flowers for every season paper. So I pulled the, um, y'all, I cannot remember this new name, Misty Moonlight Blue. If you came to my open house, you know, I have a hard time with this blue. But, um, I have a piece of, let's see, four by three and three fourths. That'll fit snugly on that little panel. And then this one's cut down a fourth of an inch smaller. It's three and a half by three and three fourths. 
So I, we're going to be able to put this card together pretty quickly. But it's kind of fancy because of the fold. I was looking at these colors, these new in colors, um, because we're going to use some of the green in the next, the Just Jade color. In the next card, um, and I think they're all kind of dusty, is what I came up with. Like the blue is just kind of a dusty blue, and the green is kind of a dusty green. It's kind of, I, I really like them. Sometimes they have to grow on me, but this year I really like the end colors. Okay, now for our little matchbox part right down here, I have a piece of the Misty Moonlight, one and a fourth by four, and then the Designer Series paper is going to sit right on top of that, and it is one by three and three fourths. So if you're going to make a card similar to this, you can use those same dimensions. I will probably put this on my blog after today, after I get off here. I'll, I'll include both these cards, so I'll have all the measurements and everything over on the plaidpoodle.com. I usually do that. And then I also, um, this, I'll have a recording of today also that you can watch on my Facebook page, and I'll have it on the, the blog too, but it, it's also on my YouTube channel. So if you ever miss or want to look something up, um, you can go follow me over there if you want. Okay, um, my, my new inks haven't come yet. The lighting is really weird today. I hope it's showing up better for you guys. It looks like it's really weird today. I don't know what it is because these papers are almost glowing on my screen. So I hope you guys, do they look okay? I don't know what to do at this point because I might mess things up. Um, so I'm using some older colors. I'm using Crushed Curry, which is very um, similar to Bumblebee. This is the Bumblebee paper. I think this one's just a little browner. Has a little bit more of a brown tone. And this is a really big stamp. So, throwing everything. So I am going to use my... Um, what did I do with the stamp set? I like to stick this under my stamp apparatus. I'm going to use my stamp apparatus because um, of this big. It's just big. So this will be easier for me. Not necessary, but easier. Okay. This is a real pretty image. I shared this on my virtual at my open house. Almost. Looks like I didn't get the paper in the right spot. I thought I had it all ready to go. There you go. First flub of the day. <laughs> oh, y'all. I might have the wrong piece. We only want to do this once. Here we go. For some reason it's not lined up how I thought I had it lined up. Okay, like I said, I'm using crushed curry because my new inks haven't come. They're, I think they're coming today. Wouldn't you know? They didn't get here before, before this. Okay, there's our little sunflower. Isn't that cute? And my Stampin' Chamois. I'll just give this a quick little, quick little wipe. And then while we're here, I'm just going to do our sentiment. Thanks a bunch. 
And I have a little strip of Whisper White, and hopefully this is going to line up. And for that, I'm using the Retired Blueberry Bushel because I thought it coordinated a, a, a close enough for the Misty Moonlight. I remembered it twice in a row. And my blueberry bushel is very juicy. There we go. So that's all the stamping we're going to do on this one. And I'll give that a better cleaning afterwards. Okay. All right, we're gonna cut out our sunflower with the sunflower, um, the outline die. And the hardest part of that is just lining it up, but there is kind of a swoopy, swoopy petal, if that makes sense. And so I look for the swoopy petal, <laughs> and then it usually fits right there. And I'm going to use a piece of washi tape here. I didn't cut these out ahead of time for y'all. Sometimes I think it's nice to see it get done in front, in front of y'all. And sometimes I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> and so now I've got another piece of the bumblebee. Is that what that's called? I think so. Yes, bumblebee. And we're going to need our big shot. I have almost brand new plates for you. You don't have to see the mess of my old plates. So we're going to shake the whole desk. <laughs> and here's the magical. I've seen the sunflower used with these left in or some of these left in. What do, what do you call that, an inset? I don't know what you call it, but they're kind, they're kind of pretty. I would think it would be very time consuming, but very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all of this because we're gonna do some more die cutting on our other card. Not a lot, but just a little. Okay, now I'm going to just adhere my um, die cut sunflower, isn't that pretty, over the stamped one. I don't know why my computer just, and once again, if you want this lined up, look for the swoopy the swoopy one and it'll line up for you. And then of course I put that on there with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I was, I followed this gal on YouTube. Let me try and think of her name. She's a scrapbooker. Oh, why can't I remember her name? I was watching her last night. Hey, Carol. Um, 
I'll remember her name in a minute, um, or I'll look it up. But she uses all kinds of products um, from all over, and she was using Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. <laughs> So I thought, hey, that's kind of an advertisement for our dimensionals because she's kind of world famous, except I just can't remember her name. Okay, now I'm going to use a punch. And this is, let me show you. It's the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. It has two different designs and th three sizes for each design. So we're going to do a, our tag is layered using the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. Hi, Letha. Um, Letha, did you just get home from the doctor? And this is one inch uh, strip, so I'm making the biggest strip. Letha broke her arm. Is that correct, Letha? Are you on painkillers? <laughs> Hi, Loopy. That's okay. We're just finishing up with the first card, and then we're going to make one more card. I'm making two today. Loopy, did you hear you were the winner of the um, Monday's card? It's on the way to you. I mailed it yesterday. Okay, and then I'm going to take the sentiment. Gosh, Letha, I'm so sorry. And it is... Um, Three quarter of an inch wide and so I'm going to make sure it's in this alley. Yeah, we're praying that you would heal quickly, Letha. We should all go back to January 1 and maybe just start the year completely over. <laughs> I don't know. We're all learning a little bit and we're all growing a lot and that's a good thing, but good grief. Okay, now I'm gonna use mini dimensionals and what I've done is I've just attached it to this top flap right at the top so that this little sentiment um, holds kind of the card together. The matchbook. I guess we could call this a matchbook card. You'll have time to craft one-handed, I guess. So sorry that happened. Speedy recovery. Sure, that was not expected. We just never know what our future holds, do we? Okay, so I put several on there. I probably overkilled it, but then I'm just going to try not to get my head right in front of y'all. I'm going to center it kind of right on where those two seams meet. Thank you, Carol. So it kind of holds down that bottom um, little tab, and then if you use your bone folder um, pretty good on these, that helps to keep it flat. So that's the first card. The second card, we're going to use the Tasteful Touches. I love this feather. And it's coordinating um, dies, which are the Tasteful Labels. There's some that fit uh, the sentiments and then some extras thrown in some little tabs. Some of them are stitched. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. I love this feather. And this is the card we're going to make. And this is another fun fold. And this one I didn't do as fancy. In fact, I think it needs something, but I just couldn't figure out what it needed. But you get the idea of the fold. 
and you can write your message in here. You, we could put some whisper white in there if we wanted to, but I think with a black um, journaling pen, you wouldn't probably need to. This is the Bumblebee, Bumblebee new color. And again, I'm still using the um, papers from the Flowers for Every Season pack. You get, I think, 48 sheets. Yes. 48 six by six sheets, double-sided sheets, and I'm using kind of a different one. I'm using some brighter tulips and poppy-like flowers on this card. And I decided to pull out the yellow, the bumblebee. Um, one hint on this one that I wanted to share is you can make one card out of yeah, that's a good idea, Carol. Uh, gems or something, for sure. When you're cutting for this card, if you're using a 6x6 six six card, um, if you pay close attention, you'll be able to make get your panel for the front and this out of one um, piece of paper, and then you'll have a little um, less than two. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, I'm getting uh, text messages from my neighbor. <laughs> I thought I turned off uh, turned off uh, notifications. Anyway, um, you'll still have like an inch, one inch by six inches left to use for something else. So just when you're cutting, you know, pay attention. And you can get one card out of this. Um, Loopy, I don't think it's running low but I will post as soon as I get <laughs> as soon as I get off here um, if it's running low I'll be sick if it is because I would like to order another pack I really like it okay so for the fun fold oh first I jump all over the place don't I girls these two cards I showed at my open house are made with the Tasteful Touches bundle. And I should, I'll tell you what page it's on in case you want to look it up. Tasteful Touches is on page 124. One twenty-four. Really fun little, well, little fun little stamp set and dies. The bundle is forty-eight fifty, but the you're going to use these these dies for everything. If you don't have a good um, label die set this would be a good investment. Anyway, these are the cards we made with that set. Really fun. Okay, back to our card. So this is the fold for this card. For the card base, you're going to, again, take an 11. I know, I love the feather. 11 by 4 and a fourth. And I'll show you how we... Um, we're going to do a score, I'm going to turn this this way, a score at two and three quarters, and then we're going to add um, five and a half, so two and three quarters and five and a half. Two and three quarters and five and a half. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to post all of this on my blog, but it takes me a minute to type everything up and get it all transferred over there. So fold your card in half, and then on that two and three quarter inch um, score line, fold it back. I think I've made a lot of cards using this fold. This is kind of a fun fold. I got the idea for this fold... Oh, it's missing. I was going to show you the 
the um, paper pumpkin um, card that I kind of took the idea off of. You're hearing all my dings and everything. Y'all, I put on a Do Not Disturb, so I must have did something wrong. Okay, we're going to just um, stamp our sentiment. Sentiment. And I'm using um, Versa Memento ink. I need to trade out my buckets. <laughs> or as Mary calls them, my bins. <laughs> I am in Mary Gunn's Stamp University now. Some fun university, F-U-N-N -N University, y'all. Check it out. It's really fun. I'm learning a lot. In fact, I have started a, I'm going to say it wrong because I don't know what it is, but it's kind of a journal to keep track of, like to plan out your scrapbooking. And I'm going to a crop on June 20th, and I am going to plan out what I'm going to work on in my notebook. And then I am going to have a bin for each of those, whatever I'm going to stamp. Okay, that's all the stamping we're doing on this card. And we're using the die. We're using this big die to fit the sentiment sentiment and I am also going to put some washi tape on that and Cut that out. When Stampin' Up gets that little, that little um, cutting machine, I won't have to haul that big thing <laughs> over here. Okay. Let's put the card together now. And that ding is my iPad for some reason. Okay, I cut a little piece of Whisper White, just slightly smaller than my designer series paper, which is four and a fourth by three and a fourth. Just to give this a little gumption, a little um, sturdiness to it. Just a little bit smaller so I don't have to worry about matching up the, the um, edges as much. I hate having to do that, which we're going to have to do with this green piece. <laughs> it just gives it a little sturdiness. And then we're going to, let's put this one on first. And I put this one on with liquid um, glue, my multi-purpose liquid glue because this one we do have to line our edges up. And with the glue, I can kind of slide it around till it's in place. And I, it's four and a fourth by two and a fourth. And I just used the opposite side of our um, floral. And I'm gonna There we go. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to just put this, pop this on, and I'll just use a little snail. Our new adhesive is coming with the, my inks, so I'm excited to try our new adhesive. And then the sentiment that I'm going to, I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. I 
I, I don't have any of the in color um, enamel shapes. That would be really cute because I, Kathy Garnett, won those in our at the open house. They are on the way to Kathy. Those would be cute. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this die has just the tiniest little, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna show, um, kind of a embossed edge. It's kind of pretty, kind of different. Okay, that is basically the card. If I, I might add some things to it when we get done here. I might go snoop in my drawer. <laughs> yeah, I could color some rhinestones. You wanna do that? Um, rhinestones. I don't really have the new colors yet though. Those are on the way too. <laughs> and I really wanna pull the colors out of here. So maybe I'll do that. Um, when they get here. I'm thinking this afternoon they're gonna get here. I was hoping they'd get here by by two, but they didn't. So there's our cards. Thank you. And thank you all for coming by, for commenting. I'll put your names in for a drawing and two of you will win a card. And I'll I'll doll this one up somehow. <laughs> I'm still thinking on it. Um, if you guys have any questions or um, need anything, let me know, and we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>